Hi guys, what is up? Welcome to another vlog. I really hope my camera is in focus. It's really hard to tell whenever I'm in the car. I am on my way to my first ever laser hair removal appointment. I am beyond excited. I have been wanting to get this since I was in eighth grade, I wanna say. I'll give you guys a little backstory, but I'm very fair skinned and I have naturally very, very dark hair. I've always been super insecure about like my facial hair, my underarms, my legs, my arms, like any place you can think of, I've been insecure about it. I've also been diagnosed with PCOS. With that, usually you have higher testosterone levels, which in return makes you naturally hairier. So yeah, that's kind of my backstory. I'm just naturally hairy. But today we are fixing that. I am going to Lakeside Integrative which I've been going to them since I was in seventh grade. They offer so many different services. They do integrative healthcare, which is how I personally know about them and why I've been going to them for so long. They do med spa services as well. They just do it all. Today, I'm going to them for laser hair removal. I'm gonna vlog the whole process. I believe I'm going to get underarm, lip not my actual lip obviously my upper lip and my legs to start with i don't know if i'm doing full leg or just the lower half of my leg i guess i'll decide when i get there but i'm starting with those three services so yeah i'm really excited i'm going to take you guys along with me on this journey like i said show you the process tell you more about it share my results with you guys as i go i've never done it before obviously and so i'll talk about the pain and everything that I just feel like I'm all into exploring and trying new beauty treatments so not that this is new but you know what I mean new for me I'm all about it I do all these high maintenance beauty treatments so that I can be low maintenance if that makes sense so yeah I'm really excited so I will talk to you guys when I get there you okay yeah <laughs> it didn't hurt yeah it's like it's like air you. yeah Get your look up a little bit. Yeah, that doesn't hurt at all. Yeah, it doesn't. It smells like it's burning though. Yeah, you have a little smell here. That's normal. Okay. Mm. Look at your lip. Okay. You ready for that? Do all I right. like just look straight? Yep, just okay. look straight. I'm gonna get you kind of pull it in. Yep, just like that. <laughs> that one's more startling. <laughs> no, it was just me. I'm jumpy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Trust me, I know. <laughs> It really yeah. doesn't hurt. Yeah. I don't know why I'm jumping. It's just like. It's, this, it's the burst of the cold. Yes. Like yeah. Wow. That was easy, right? It was. Yeah. I'm ready for it. All right. And it might smell because it's just their sweatpants there. Uh. <laughs> okay. Yeah. If you need a break, you tell me, okay? Okay. Right here, you I have to them. shave under there every day. Yeah, that was me. I hated it. And it's like it comes back, so, mine came back so fast. Yeah, it mine like every day I have to shave. Whew. Okay, that one hurts. Yeah, I know. <laughs> that one hurts more. Okay, you ready? Yeah, okay. We need a break something. Okay, can I go down pretty far? Cause okay, I know that's one of mine. I didn't get down far enough. And I was shaving down here. Oh, um, yeah. A smart. Yeah. Ooh. Good. <laughs> okay, you ready? Yeah. Okay. Oh, oh you're fast with it. Yeah. Yeah, that didn't hurt at all. Good. Yeah, super fast. Freckles, it might, just because they're dark, that's right. where it's going to get, like, the redness okay. at. It doesn't mind. Just because it picks up on pigmentation. Right. So How does it feel? You okay? Yeah, fine. It's a weird sensation. It's like cool, but it hot. Is. Yeah. And so you're supposed to shave like right before. I did that last night. Yep. What's the purpose of that? Like what That's happens just, if you don't? It's just like, you know how you smell the hair on your oh, chin? Oh, yep. That it'll singe the hairs mm -hmm. essentially and not go down to the follicle. It'll singe the hairs at the top. And right, okay, that makes sense. Yeah. All right, do you want to do lower leg or you want to finish top? Let's finish the top. Right. <laughs> I'm doing this side. I'm scared. <laughs> yeah, I can do top of my legs all day long. Yeah. <laughs> the bottom. 
If I had this machine, I'd do my whole body. Oh, yeah, It'd be I dangerous. Did. All right. Okay. Whew, I'm already sweating. I know that the back of my legs are just sweating. Yeah. No, it's fine. I'm sweating. <laughs> Hi. Can I do a bowl to go with white rice? No beans? Chicken? No, thank you. Um, corn. I'm gonna do cheese. And lettuce. Yes. I'm back home now. Hopefully it's not too loud out here on my balcony. I just thought I would sit out here and eat and talk about my experience. I got Chipotle. I literally asked them for the vinaigrette and they forgot to put it in the bag. So now I'm using sriracha which is fine it's just not the same i'm just going to talk about my first time getting laser i will have all of their information in the description box if you guys want to check them out they're called lakeside integrative they're located in high point north carolina i love them literally the sweetest people and i just felt super comfortable with her her name is mandy and she's just the best i've known her forever and she's truly amazing they had a special going on right now where if you get one larger package like full legs then you get chin and lip for free so i did that i didn't really need it on my chin but i just did it because eventually i'm sure i'll grow hair there so i don't know when that deal ends i think i saw where it ends march 22nd but i'm sure they will be doing tons of other deals that one was just a march deal i believe but i don't know the exact pricing for anything i will have information in the description box and you can also reach out and call them but yeah like i said i did full leg front and back armpits and chin and lip in the clips you could probably see me jumping with the lip i don't know why i did that like it did not hurt at all it just was a really weird sensation and i think it was more like startling than painful the only one that really hurt was my underarms that hurt so bad i'm sure you guys could tell by my face that was pretty painful i'm not gonna sugarcoat it for you guys but i just kept telling myself like it's gonna be so worth it and the legs didn't hurt only like the bottom of the lower leg but i'd say the pain was probably like a six out of ten for underarms everywhere else was probably like a two or a three so worth it though and Mandy was telling me about her results and I'm just so excited because I think this is gonna be great for me. But yeah, I will put more information in the description box if you guys are interested. So it is a little while later, it's now 3.08. I have Pilates at four, so I'm gonna try and get there around 3.50. It's only a four minute drive, I believe, from my apartment. I need to leave in a few minutes because I need to stop and get gas because I am like almost on empty. But here's my Pilates outfit of the day. I mentioned both of these in one of my recent Lululemon hauls. I want to say maybe from one to two months ago. But I'll have everything linked in the description box. If you guys want to shop these two items. But this is the Align V-neck bra. I'm literally blanking on the shade name. Hopefully it's still available. Yeah, so just this and then aligns to go with it i'm gonna throw my white defined jacket over it that i was wearing earlier but i don't know what you guys could hear from that clip out there because of the traffic and stuff so hopefully you could hear me talk about the laser experience and then also i cut it short because some woman came out on her balcony like right beside me i didn't want to be annoying trying to talk to a camera but yeah, I loved it and I already feel like super happy about it. I'm just so excited and I don't know if I mentioned this, but I was literally in and out in 30 minutes. As soon as I got there, I just signed a piece of paper and then she did everything and then I checked out and left and it was all done in 30 minutes. So that was crazy fast. I have six sessions, so I have five left for each body part that I'm doing, um, but I'm really excited and of course I'll keep you guys updated with my progress, my results, all that. Um, I think it is gonna hurt worse the next session, which I'm not excited about. But like I said, it was very, very bearable. It was just my armpits that had me sweating. But I'm starting at a new Pilates studio. Well, I've actually been to this one before. Last week was my first time. And I really like it, but I started at the level one class just to kind of get a feel for the studio. And now I'm moving up to a 1.5. 
which is what I was doing previously at my old studio. We'll see how I do. Hopefully it's gonna be good, but yeah, I'm excited. Hi guys, it is now 5.42. I didn't bring my camera with me to Pilates. I forgot it at home, but I wouldn't have been able to vlog in the class anyways, and I left my phone in the little cubbies. I'm not like comfortable bringing it in the class anyways. Right now, since it's a new studio for me, um, and I think they have a pretty strict no cell phone policy anyways, so. But yeah, that was honestly a really difficult class. I went up a level, or I guess like half a level. I went from one to 1.5. Um, which is what I was doing at my old studio, but every studio is different. Every instructor is different And when I did the level one class at this studio, it was incredibly easy It was the easiest Pilates class I've ever taken and then this one was one of the most difficult classes I've taken So it was really good though. I felt really good about it And then I stopped by a smoothie place. Or it's not just a smoothie place. They have like smoothie smoothie bowls avocado toast wraps sandwiches stuff like that and I got a smoothie. This was called the Pinky Swear Smoothie. Um, I got it from Village Juice. I don't know if it's just a local place or if they have other, I'm pretty sure they have other locations, but I added collagen to this one because my stomach has been a little weird and my mom said to try collagen. So I got that in it. This one has dates, strawberries, banana, collagen, and something else. Maybe almond milk. Anyways, I have some packages to unbox. I think I just have two. I don't know why I did this. Two. Don't know what I'm gonna do for dinner later. I haven't been to the store in a while just because I am going out of town on Saturday. Today's probably gonna be a full day of eating out, which I don't like, but I don't have anything here. First up from Revolve. So I got a pair of Tony Bianco sandals. Not sandals, heels. These were on back order. I ordered them a while ago and they just came, but they're so cute. These are called the Alexa. I don't know if it's like a mule or what, but I got these for Europe. I just thought the heel size would be perfect. And also just for around here in the spring and summer. I love these. This package is really fun and exciting, but if you know me, I love ramen. I love it so much. So this brand reached out to me on Instagram and wanted to send me some of their healthy ramen. So I'll have a link in the description if you guys wanna shop their stuff, but they're called Emmy Eats. And it came with this tasting menu and it's got spicy red miso, creamy chicken, and roasted pork. Oh, yeah, so I got all of them. Ooh, I'm so excited. 21 grams of protein and only six carbs. Creamy chicken, I'm going to love. So excited about this. Thank you so much to Emmy Eats. I will probably try them in a vlog soon. I guess I could do it for dinner tonight, but I kind of had my heart set on a salad tonight for dinner. We shall see, but that's my little haul. Not much is going on tonight. I just need to finish editing a video. Since I'm going out of town, I've been having to do a lot of pre-filming and editing. That's what's happening. Super random, but I thought I would show you guys what I do for my dossier perfumes. I think I've mentioned this before. Maybe I have, maybe I haven't. But what I like to do whenever I get a new one in, I take my little, what is this, like a label printer? Yeah, label printer. I got it off of Amazon, I'll have a link down below. And I write the real name of the fragrance or like the inspired name on the label printer and then I stick it on the back because Dossier fragrances only have their name on there because they can't like legally put the designer name, I'm assuming. So yeah, and then I just go like this and it prints off and then I stick it on the back and it's super, super cool. I just take it and stick it on the back. It looks like that. That way I know what the fragrance is inspired by. It definitely gives off like business casual vibes. Just super classy and I love it. That's the vibe that I'm going for for, for Europe. Because I just feel like that's how they dress over there. Super. I just got it delivered because I didn't feel like going out again. 
but this is his and this is mine. I hope I like this chicken. I tried the chipotle chicken because normally I get the grilled chicken. And then I got an extra white balsamic because this is my favorite salad dressing ever. So that way I can make salads at home and use this dressing, but looks good. I get all of this stuff in it. Oh, and I also got some chips and bread. Yeah, he calls them, uh, what do you call them? Crisps. Crisps. <laughs> That's what uh, English people call chips. It's crisps. Cri crisps? Crisps. That's such a weird name. Crisps. And then fries are chips. Hi guys, it is a little while later. We ate dinner, it was amazing. It was so, so good. Then I got straight back to work and I'm finishing up now. I'm almost done with that video. It's my Aritzia haul. So if you guys haven't seen that video, definitely check it out because it's up by the time you guys are seeing this vlog, but it's almost nine o'clock and we're about to watch the Love is Blind reunion because it airs tonight at nine o'clock. I have mixed feelings about this season. It's definitely not one of my favorites, but I personally like it because I actually know one of the guys on there, kind of. I've never met him personally, I don't think. I've seen him out. We have some mutual friends because he's actually from one of my friends hometown so leave a comment for who you think it is let me know what you guys think about this season but i'm really excited to watch the reunion but i want to show you guys my makeup collection slash vanity tour i've been meaning to do it in the past like two vlogs that i've done on my channel and every time i forget and i have been getting comments asking for a makeup collection or vanity tour so i'm just gonna do it in this video but if you guys saw one of my previous vlogs i think i did a few weeks ago maybe a month ago at this point i showed you guys my new vanity that my boyfriend and my dad put together i love her she's from impression so i'll do a little tour right now so this is the vanity here's my chair i got it off of amazon i just have some new makeup that i've been trying out this is a makeup towel not a makeup towel it's just a regular towel i keep on my vanity so i don't get the glass dirty ocd problems <laughs> but yeah this chair is from Amazon. This mirror is super old. They have a lot of newer models available now, but I mean, it works fine, so I'm going to keep it. I really like it though. It's got some charging ports down here. I have my Sonos speaker, and then on the other side, I have my brushes. So let's move this chair out of the way so I can give you guys like a full rundown. So, starting off, this is what the top of it looks like. So, in this first drawer, I keep all of my foundations and skin tints. And then in this middle drawer, it's double layered or double sided, whatever. Oh, we have a jam. It's not organized like the best for sure, but it works for now. So I have all my powder highlighters and all my liquid highlighters. And then in this middle section, I have all my powder blushes, liquid blushes, liquid bronzers, powder bronzers, and another powder bronzer because it didn't fit in this one. So liquids and then all powders. And then you pull this compartment out. And this is my lip drawer plus some extra palettes that didn't fit in other drawers. I literally keep this palette just for one shade. And it's that first one right there, that bright one. I like to use it for the inner corners. But I have two palettes right here. I have all my lip liners. All of my lip products are not really organized. Um, I definitely could do a better job, but it works for now. I have all my Dior lip glow oils and all my Fenty lip stuff. And yeah, that's the middle drawer. And then in this other top drawer, I have all my face palettes. So I love it. I also love that I can see what's inside. I think it's really cool. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, so the second drawer over here, I have all my concealers and my primers. I don't know why I did it this way. It just, it's what works for me. I also have a lot of extra space like on the sides and in the back. So I definitely could get some more organizers to maximize the space. But like I said, it works for right now. Then in this one I have, I don't even know what I have. I have all my brow products, like brow pencils and stuff. Eyeliners, one singular mascara for my bottom lashes, brow gels. This is like random stuff. I have like rhinestones for eyeshadow for like fun stuff. I have eyeshadow sticks. I have eyeshadow glitters and more glitters. And then in here, this is like my tool drawer kind of. I have all my makeup wipes back here. I have some headbands. I have a mirror. I have some like hair stuff by this brand and color wow for when i'm doing like a high pony or something and i don't want my roots showing or i just need to fill in some hair i do that 
Got all my tools and spoolies and beauty blenders and powder puffs and stuff. And then in this last one, I have all my designer like receipts and stuff and dust bags. I don't know why I do that. I just like to keep all the receipts. Okay, and then in this second drawer on the left, I have all my loose powders and regular powders. And then in this one, I have all my eyeshadow palettes. I don't know which way to face them. I have it facing this way, so when I'm sitting down, I can like see each one but it probably makes more sense to do it the other way where they're like facing this way. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. And then in this one, I have random stuff. I have some extra skincare that I don't have in my bathroom. I have some face masks. I have all my body glitter back here. So this is just random. This one is especially random. I've got my soap that I use to clean my makeup brushes with. More soap. All my brush cleaning products some extra brushes, a fan, a travel mirror, and I think this is more brush cleaner stuff. But that's my makeup collection slash vanity tour. So sorry that it's taken me this long to finally do it. I didn't forget this time. It is almost 12 o'clock and we just finished Love is Blind. It was only an hour and a half, but we kept pausing it to talk. Nine. Yeah, we started at nine and we literally kept pausing it to talk and to look up things because I've seen every single season of this show from when it came out but like they would show previous couples and i would get like super confused because it's been so long so then i'd have to research and then we'd play it and then we'd talk what were your thoughts do you want to give your thoughts don't know that jeremy you don't like jeremy no don't i don't know like him either don't know that fella what about um sarah ann what do you think of her she's too loud <laughs> she's too loud okay who was your favorite of the season mm -hmm. oh Brittany and what's his name Ken. Yeah. You like them? Yeah. You like Ken? Yeah. That's a hot take. Unpopular opinion. Nobody likes Ken. The principal. Yeah, he was always on his phone and like he seemed unfazed about the breakup. Some people don't show emotions. I'm gonna have to redo this whole thing. What? I need you to give me something. I need some content. So we just finished Love is Blind. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like Jeremy. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Do I have to <laughs> Yeah, Luke was over here like being all sad about Trevor and I'm like No, he done wrong to be fair, but they drew him out in the show and it they wanted to like Yeah, they attacked him, but rightfully or... so. Like yeah, he had a whole the only girlfriend. They on the show. He he had the balls to turn up to the show. Matthew didn't. That's Trevor, true, that's Trevor, true. Trevor, I'll give it to Trev for that. They went on the show and they just drew him out. This is your first time talking in my vlog. I mean wanna understand me. Yeah, my uh him. He the <laughs> him. <laughs> Who's him? The person the cat dragged in. <laughs> Luke thinks that nobody's gonna be able to understand him in my vlog, so that's why he's um he's mute in my vlogs. He's just there. But I'm, uh... they wanna hear your American accent. Hey y'all. <laughs> How's it going? <laughs> Let's go to the diner. The diner? The diner. The driving diner. Mel's driving diner. <laughs> Mel. Who is Mel? Don't know. I saw it on like American Graffiti once. I think it's called. Oh yeah, I'm right. That's it. American Graffiti. Oh. Yeah. What a movie that is. American Graffiti. Watch it. All right. You heard it here first. I hope it's from that movie. So I just showered, and I'm about to do my skincare and get in bed. But you guys have seen my skincare routine a million times at this point. Everything is linked on my LTK in the skincare section. I showed it in my last vlog, I believe, my day in the life that I did. So head over there if you guys wanna see the full routine. But I got a facial a few days ago, last week, whatever. And so I feel like I don't like to do a lot a few days after a facial. Like I don't have to do my LED face mask because we did that in the treatment and she exfoliated really good. So I just do like a little bit, but Anyways, I just showered. I'm not washing my hair until a few more days, but it's looking a little nasty. I have to put my eyebrow ointment on. I think it's just Aquaphor, but I got a microblading touch up the other day. But an update on the laser. I thought it was gonna hurt really bad, like showering or anything like that. It didn't hurt during Pilates. It's not red. I was afraid I was gonna be like super red lifting my arms and stuff like it's literally fine the shower didn't hurt at all i'm just like a little red on my legs but she said that's normal but other than that 
Like, I literally feel completely normal. I don't feel like I just got laser done, so. I'm obsessed. I'm so excited to bring you guys along. I'm gonna try and vlog every laser appointment I have just to kind of log my progress and everything like that, but make sure you guys check out Lakeside Integrative. I will leave all their info in the description box. But I'm gonna end this vlog so I can get into bed because I'm really tired. It's like past midnight at this point. I will have everything that I wore or showed in this video listed and linked in the description box for you guys to shop. And I hope you guys enjoyed this little vlog. Let me know if you want more of them. I feel like I've been more into day in the lives recently versus like days in my life just because I feel like I get more substantial content. I could be totally wrong, but let me know what you guys prefer. I love you guys so much and I will hopefully see you all very soon in my next video. Bye guys.